All right, welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to do the mock interview for cybersecurity analyst job. All right. So the process will be simple. I'll be the candidate and Jimin will be the interviewer. Uh, before we get, uh, you know, start the start the video, make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell, bell icon so that you get notified the moment we publish a new video. Okay. So let's get started, guys. Hi, Jamin. How are you? Hello, Rajesh. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Yeah. So, Rajesh, my today's question is on DDoS attacks. Okay. My first question is, what is DDoS attack and uh -huh. how it is different from DOS attack? Well, a DDoS attack is a distributed denial of service attack. It's a kind of attack where the target server or maybe any target is actually overwhelmed with huge number of or tons of fake traffic so that the a genuine user will not be get served. Okay. And that's why it is called a denial of service attack. Now, uh, when we say distributed denial of service attack, it means that the, the attack, the fake traffic will be sent from uh, you know, um, uh, thousands or millions of devices. Whereas, whereas in case of DOS attack, denial of service attack, the attack will be launched only from a single device. Okay. So in a state, uh, DOS doesn't exist or I don't think it's it's ever been encountered uh, in the current scenario. It's majorly denial, distributed denial of service attack where the attacker basically compromise multiple devices across the world and those devices could be your mobile phone could be our uh, uh, any device or could be iot device as well even could be refrigerator as well the iot enable refrigerator and once that that has get that get compromised by the attacker now base uh, once the attacker you know trigger or enable the attack all those devices will start launching the attack to the target server these all will be fake traffic so they, that the amount will be so huge that uh, you know the target server will keep serving them, and if any genuine user you know reach out for any service, the service server will fail to do so. So that's that scenario is uh, DDoS attack. Yeah. Okay, that was a great explanation. Then, what are some common types of DDoS attack? and how they are different from each other well uh, so th there are many different types of attacks so, but if i tell you in a in a generic uh, classification first is the volum volumetric attack which is basically uh, you know which is basically a high volume of traffic it's it's consume a lot of bandwidth of the target server network so that's sent just just any random data. It's mostly ICMP or UDP based at traffic. Okay, maybe all the uh, uh, compromised devices or all the botnet, the compromised devices are called botnet uh, network of bots. Okay, controlled by the attacker. All the botnet will send the ICMP traffic, ping the ping, or they may be sending the UDP traffic. So that comes under the volumetric attack, which deals with the huge high volume of traffic okay next we have protocol attack now this attacks is related to the network protocol and services majorly deal with the uh, you know tcp based attack so what happened is uh, in in the protocol based attack uh, half open session is is majorly being used what happened is uh, it uses the technique of uh, tcp three way handshake where in, in the TCP three-way handshake, what happened is we send as a client send the send packet, the server uh, see that as a request coming in from the client. It acknowledge that packet and and also send its own send flag as well. That yes, I am ready to talk to you. And finally, the client send the acknowledgement. So the send synac and act completes the three-way handshake. And after that, the actual traffic goes through in the network. It applicable for any web based traffic, anything which uh, follow the TCP based traffic. In protocol based attack, what happened is uh, the client, the botnet, the compromised devices, they just send the SYN flag and, uh, you know, server send the SYNAC 
and but the client will not send the acknowledgement so as a result of it the server had server has to keep the session open keep the resources allocated for that specific user because every resource takes some amount of uh, memory some amount of network resources and process as well so if imagine if there are millions of devices and they send the sin flood uh, sin flood or maybe half open session attack right so that that's that's a protocol attack the one which is very popular it's the application layer attack where the it exploits certain vulnerability of the web server and uh, by targeting specific vulnerability onto the you know onto the web server onto the web application server which in, then once the compromise has been uh, you know once the vulnerability has been identified the exploit is launched the attack could be anything the attack could be http flood slow loris attack as well so it based on the vulnerability most of the time and uh, yeah so the, these are the three major type of attack volumetric uh, protocol and uh, application uh, layer attack so yeah got it got it so can you explain some effective strategies to counter this ddos attack to counter or maybe to mitigate this attack uh, you know uh, the is uh, there are multiple solution there are many organization who deal with it uh, there are some professional services delivered by some service provider as well i think most of the tier 1 and tier 2 service provider like at&t verizon uh, t-mobile uh, they provide a denial of service uh, you know uh, protection solution where they re- they ask the customer to read out all the traffic to their network in their ba- backhole and they clean those traffic and send it back to the user uh but wa- there are multiple solution available first the basic solution is traffic monitoring is to monitor all the traffic you, because you run a business right let's say i have my web server so i have i know that every day what amount of traffic i i get it let's say i every day i receive somewhere around uh 20 gb of a traffic on my web server so if any moment of a time i receive traffic more than that i should be alert right or maybe it's a festival right in festival i know on festival how much it shoot up maybe it shoot up to 1 tb or 2 tb of network traffic i'm talking about and if it goes more than that so i have to be alert on those situation so i have to apply a traffic monitoring kind of a solution on my web server and then keep an eye on it the most effective solution is to deploy web application firewalls so there are multiple web application firewall solution uh the most popular one is cloudflare uh but there are many more as well you can go for akamai you can go for imperva and capsula uh redware is also very popular uh, so these solution help us uh, mitigate the ddos attack and they not just ddos attack even for all the web based uh web based threat like sql injection cross site scripting attack uh ssrf everything file upload attack so all they also look at the oas top 10 vulnerability so anything related to web based attack this solution the web application firewall take care of it so they have set of rules and policy created especially for ddos attack so they can identify application layer attack they can identify protocol attack uh, volume attack they uh, they can understand if it is the half open session if it is the nmap scan if it is a reconnaissance so web application firewall is huge benefit it's huge very very beneficial uh, there's one more solution of course you can go for the service providers based solutions as well but rate limiting is also good solution where you can rate limit based on different protocol uh different services as well uh, for uh, on your server so even if the rate limiting can be done on the router switches firewall as well so look at control plane plane, plane policy or management policies on every router and firewall we create those so that if somebody let's say send tons of a ping packet to my firewall or to my router devices or anything i should have a rate limit for that so these are some of the mitigation strategy we can go for yeah great this is all i have for today's questions on ddos sure sure
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So this is time for a detailed explanation. Um, let me give. Let me share my screen and. Uh, yeah, so this 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 is how the DDoS attack really looks like. Uh, I'll just give you an illustration about how how does it work. So attacker sits here. Uh, it takes some time for attacker to build the botnet. So these are the botnet. Okay, what are those? It could be your mobile phone. It's actually victim's mobile phone. They never know that they are actually involved in the attack. It this could be a microwave, a IoT enabled microwave. This could be your CCTV cameras, right? Or maybe as as simple as your computer, laptop, any device which is compromised. Now, once this bot has been built, once this bot has been built, now attacker get the complete control because how how this bot is created is by sending a malicious link and or maybe compromising them by you know installing some rat or some command and control software onto this machine. Now attacker can com take complete control over those devices and send any kind of a traffic from like TCP based traffic to HTTP to ICMP, ping, anything. So this is the attacker command and control server from the here. It will run all those options, button, attack and everything. So those parameters can be defined here whether the attacker want to launch volumetric volumetric attack or uh, protocol based attack or half open session attack or uh, application based attack or slow loris attack this is all can be done from here and then it targets a specific victim on the server now what happened is there are multiple situations there is some in the dark web uh, i guess i guess you guys know about dark web if you don't you can find a detailed video on my channel dark web it's a place which is uh, hidden from the surface web, from uh, uh, from the real world. So it's completely anonymous, and the transaction also happen in Bitcoin. So nobody knows uh, who is transacting, who is doing business with whom. So on the dark web, there are multiple sellers who sell the DDoS as a service, who send sell the botnet, who just send the botnet. So let's say there's a new attacker in the town, and he he find this business very lucrative. He can immediately get into the business, <laughs> so it's that interesting. Remember, this is this information is only for an educational purpose. I'm just telling you about what's really happening in the dark web, where anybody can go there and then find the botnet. They can purchase those botnet for a specific period of time, maybe for one hour, two hours, or something. So once they buy it, they can launch the attack immediately. They also get their console. The, and then they can launch the attack on any target system. So this 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 kind of a business model is called DDoS, DDoS as a service. DDoS as a service model. So this is sold by multiple attackers, uh, criminals on the dark web area as well. So this is how the dark web really works. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching us. Uh, if you have any comment, do let us know below. This is me, Rajneesh Gupta with Jemin Patak. Bye for now.